One of the more common ways that we try to differentiate a male and a female, or try to decide which one is which, is at the base of the tail, especially in your boids, they will have a vent spur here and here on along the sides. And these spurs actually used to be legs millions of years ago. The males, these spurs can be a little bit longer, and they're used to stimulate the female and hold the female in place. A male's tail may be a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger, for the same reason. And snakes have hemipenises, hemipenises, one along the side here, and one along the side here to the vent. And one easy way that we normally will find out if it's male or female is, is we have small probes that we actually can slide in. And in a male, that probe will normally go about five scales. Whereas a female, they can sometimes have a little papilla in here, but it only goes in a little ways. It won't go down five. So you'll move it in and back, and if it's deep, five scales, same thing on this side, then you're pretty sure that you've got a male. Another way that you can do it is, is popping. You just put your thumb and you roll your thumb this way, and the hemipenis will protrude from here and here. Some difficult snakes, we actually have to inject saline. We do this in lizards as well. And you do it behind, under the skin, and as you inject it into the sheath or the lumen, it actually forces the hemipenis out. And that's the way that we figure out whether we've got a male or a female.